So window washing. I looked at our stratas and really there's no set amount of window washing other than most stratas wash their windows once, at least once a year. We have some for economic reasons don't wash them um, once a year, but most of them wash them once a year. The, the most is four times a year where they wash their windows four times a year uh, because they felt it was really important. There's two main ways of cleaning windows. There's either a tucker pole, which is a really long pole, you can go up 40, 50 feet, and it's got water hose in it, and it's got uh, like a nano fiber cloth and then a scrubber on one, and then they scrub the windows from the ground. It's the most economical. If you, if you think about it, it's much like uh, when you take your car into those touchless car washes. It does a pretty good job, and if you're, if you're always maintaining your windows, uh, your, your car, and you're cleaning your car, uh, and you do it maybe you know a couple times a month, then it'll keep it in reasonable shape. But if you just went down the Coquihalla and you've got like a, a smear of bugs on it, touchless isn't gonna do it. And so that would be hand cleaning. And that's when they either get up by ladder, they hang off the roof anchors, uh, or, or they um, uh, use a bucket. Some stratas, unfortunately, the way they're designed, it's not economical to hand clean. And so you actually are, your only option is tucker pull. But you can imagine if it's, a, it's 40, 50 stories up, and you're using a pole from the ground, it's pretty hard to do a good job way up there. So those are two types of uh, different applications for window washing. We find the key for handling deficiencies is giving the ownership or the, the, the residents a specific time to report deficiencies and, and give them a, a way of doing it. Either a Gmail address, if you have site staff and you have a caretaker, you could have all the, the caretaker collect the deficiencies. And then the most effective strata is hand out stickers. So really they're like um, uh, sticky notes. And so when the window washers go down, they know seventh floor, you know, three in, because you're hanging off a building. Oh, there's the sticky, I know I need to clean that window. Because any job's gonna have deficiencies. It's just a really great way of doing it. I was talking to the window washing trades and they said, what we really don't like is when there's a council meeting two months later, and then it's, oh yeah, they missed the window on the eighth floor, right? The, the window washing, washing companies really would like quick feedback and they'll get on it right away. Uh, and so I thought that was a, a good feedback to pass on. So handling deficiencies, probably the best way is say, okay, everybody in the building, we're getting the windows washed. You have until 10 days from now and you need to email this address and then have your site staff or council member or janitorial company hand out those stickers so they can stick it on the window so they can see them. Really some other factors are to consider are new projects are notorious. When they're installing uh, the windows, they use silicone and they also have them wrapped in a blue, um, it's like sticky. And so when they pull it off, sometimes there's some silicone left on the window or some of that blue sticky. And you're in your brand new apartment, you're all excited and then you're looking at your view and then there's some silicone coming down there. Uh, and so that's really important to report that uh, deficiency to the developer so they can get addressed uh, because the developer is responsible for taking those off. Um, and it's always harder after the fact if you wait uh, 12 months to get your windows washed and then try to get the developer to take care of it. And what we're seeing right now, especially in Burnaby, is there's so much construction. So really it's great to open up some dialogue on when they're gonna be doing digging uh, and, and when there's gonna be uh, immediate construction in your area because you don't wanna wash your windows and then after the construction the next day, you know, it'd be terrible to have all that dust get stuck on your freshly uh, washed windows. So those are some factors to consider with window washing.